go, hey, I don't even know how to introduce this woman because she's amazing. I hope you guys all know who she is. I like to say that I'm kind of an um, internet tramp. Um, you can find me all over the place online, as somebody mentioned to me this morning. I think Anne is that times ten. So, yeah. You might be the tramp, but I'm the ho. That's right. <laughs> Which ones get paid for it? Oh, oh that's what I like. Okay. <laughs> I can never keep it straight. <laughs> Or is it afternoon? I have, I have been in several different cities in the last few weeks. Some of you know that. Um, actually, I've been online less, which actually freaked a couple people out. I got some emails, and they're like, are you dying? Are you sick? We haven't seen you on Facebook. I've been speaking. I've been on the road before the holidays. I did bring handouts if you want to pass them back and across so that you can take notes about what we're going to talk about today. Um, I My passion for... All of this comes from a very personal story, and if you haven't seen that story, you might even check out my YouTube channel at some point and go look at it. Most people don't know that I put all my marketing eggs in one basket. I've been a business owner since 1997, and I put all my marketing strategy into one basket. And when the economy tanked in 2008, all my clients being one basket, in one basket, in one way to market to them, I lost them all. So I went from a business that was a very successful six-figure, more than a one-in-front-of-it kind of business to a business that was no longer that, all right? And here's what's amazing, is social media and blogging has saved my business tenfold, all right? So I don't just teach this stuff because I learned about it on the internet. There's a lot of people that teach it because they learned about it on the internet. I teach this stuff because I believe in it, and it's worked for me, and it gets results. And what I've done with my clients, which many of them are sitting in the audience today, I love that you guys are here, thank you so much, um, is that it's, it's replicatable. So I want you to know that the things that I'm teaching you, you can do. I work with many different types of companies, MLMs, private businesses, insurance companies, all different kinds of businesses in doing this. And it's really about making sure that you are seen as the go-to person in your industry. Would you agree with that? Yep. You want people, when they think about what you do, that they think your name when they think about it, okay? So let's talk about blogging for better business um, and the importance and value of blogging. This is important as we begin this time together. I have, what, 35 minutes or something today, and Jerry said to me six times, oh, I don't know how I'm gonna cram it all in. Most speakers that know their stuff feel that way, right? We have a ton we want to give you. So sometimes you need to remember to breathe. So just with me right now, take a breath. Let it go. There is going to be time today when I say something and it goes just like this. Whoosh. And you know what a lot of us do? We go, oh my God, what should I say? I don't understand that. What should I say? Oh, sh see, I kept it. It's crap. We kind of go there right away. Would you agree? Because we didn't get it when it was said. Yeah. What I'd rather you do right now is just give yourself permission that it's okay if you don't get it all today. Is that okay, ladies? Can we do that? Mm -hmm. It's okay if you don't get it all today. If something comes up for you that you're not quite sure about, what I would recommend in that note is that you write, ask yourself a question, right? Write it down. What did she mean by? And whatever the word was that I said or the phrase that I say. Write that down because guess what? It's easy to get the answers even after today. All right? So allow yourself and give yourself that permission and breathe in this process with me. The other thing that's important is if you're going to do just one thing to be successful, because there's a lot of stuff out there with social media, if you're going to do one thing, you need to blog. All right? Blogging for many, many reasons, okay? Facebook is fabulous. How many of you love Facebook? It's really fun, right? See, the problem with Facebook is Facebook doesn't give you any SEO other than you're on it, okay? Now, there's a slight exception to that with a business page, but it's still not as extreme as what a blog can do for you. The more you blog, the more visibility and credibility you create for yourself, all right? So that's really important. If you're going to pick one thing to do out of all the social media things you can do, the one thing you want to do is to start to blog, all right? Make that commitment to yourself to start to blog about what you do and who you are, okay? Here's another thing, and I say this all the time to people. If you can't talk about what you do for at least an hour, you're in the wrong business. <laughs> really, right? I mean, it, your passion.
passion is your business. Business isn't business. How many of you are in your business because you love it? Right? And here's the thing, though. When I hear people say, I don't know what to blog about. Whoa, wait a minute. You should be able to tell me all kinds of stuff. Right? So, I have an activity for you right now, okay? You see how it says passion test on your notes? I want you to take a minute or so, and I want you to just jot down some little words or phrases of everything that you're passionate about, business and non-business related. Ready? Go. try to not carry this and not wear it on my head like a badge. So if the mic's not working, yell at me and I'll just take it back off. All right? Um, here's the thing. Passion is business. And I need you to realize that and to start fit it into what you do. So you just wrote this list of things that you're passionate about. Okay? Everything that you're passionate about can be turned into a blog that will help people know why they want to hire you. Did you see how that's true? See, I'm good friends with a guy named Peter Hirschberg, who is president of Technorati, Technorati, all right? And he gets paid the big bucks to go into big, huge companies to teach companies how to be like small businesses, more human. And you know what's funny? You know what we do as small business people? <laughs> we try to be more like the big businesses. <laughs> how many of you are so tired of an automated system and would just like to talk to a real person? How many of you do business with somebody in this room because you love her and that's why you do business with her? Stop thinking that your business isn't you. Your business is you. People hire you, okay? You can take things that you're passionate about and you can weave them into why you do what you do in your business. I'll give you four examples. I love to garden. I know that freaks somebody out that I wear four inch high silver heels and then I say I garden. But I do, I love to garden, right? I, and I dig in the dirt of my winter garden is planted, right? All those kind of things are happening. And I wrote a blog once about a story in my garden about these calla lilies, all right? And I did a video and I wrote a blog and I related the persistence of these calla lilies growing in my yard to being persistent in what you do. It's one of my most popular and well-read blogs. Mm. It gets more comments than any other one because people so relate to the personal story. People love that I told something about my life, not just about my business. See where I'm going? With everything you wrote down, you have the opportunity to do that. Do you know that 60% of people on Facebook are moms? How many of you are moms in here? See, if you're not letting people know you're a mom, you're missing an audience. Moms like to do business with other moms. True? Absolutely. Why wouldn't you tell a story? You don't have to name your kids. But why wouldn't you tell a story about your kids? It's relatable for them. Right? Darcy did a great story about her kids in discipline and the plank. Right? And it was, people loved that blog, didn't they? Love that blog. So think about your passion and how it relates to what you write. You have more stuff than you realize that you can build up into a blog over time, all right? Now, the next thing is, is that if you're ready to grow, some of you are already doing this, like Darcy's already doing this in the room, Pat's got her blog up and running, right? Some of you are doing this stuff, Jen blogs regularly. If you're ready to grow, the next big thing that you wanna to add to your blogging is video, YouTube. I know, I just freaked a whole lot of you out. Okay. First of all, video is a lot faster than writing for people. Because with writing, you've got to edit it, you've got to spell check it, you've got to double check it, it never fails when you post it, then you realize the word's wrong. Right? There's a lot of things that go into the writing part of it that can take time. Video is something that you can do in the moment. I got up this morning after I put my makeup on and did a three-minute video that I can upload and I can use on YouTube and as a blog. 
All right? Here's the thing about YouTube. It is, every time you post, you're posting to your own version of a blog on YouTube. You guys realize that, right? It's called a channel. There are now one billion subscribers on YouTube. Not viewers, subscribers. Which means they subscribe to your channel and they get an email every time you update a video. Just like they can subscribe to your blog. I have a feeling Jerry's talking about that, right? Get subscriptions to your blog. Just like they can subscribe to your blog. But I get more subscriptions to my YouTube channel than I do my blog. And then I take that same video that I upload here and I put it on my blog with a little bit of words around it. Right? Maximize my efforts and double it. So, so is that the order you put in on your channel and then you embed it to the Absolutely. Because I want all the advantages, and I'll talk about them a little later, I want all the advantages that comes from being a YouTube revenue sharing and partnership, right? And I want that to show up on my blog before it's embedded, all right? Okay, so both, both of these things are about, and why they're important, they're about credibility and visibility, all right? You want to drive traffic there. Driving traffic to Facebook doesn't make sense to me. As a matter of fact, I'm telling my clients that they need to get rid of networked blogs. The problem with network blogs is people read your blog on Facebook and they comment on Facebook. You need them to comment on your blog, not on Facebook, right? You need them to go from Facebook and click through and go comment over there. The, the comment is nice on Facebook, but once it leaves top news, it's gone, right? See, and here's the thing about comments on your blog. Google likes it, and since we're in the pole dancing studi studio today, Google likes links that go deep. <laughs> right? So your, your blog name, warriorpreneur.com, right, is your top high-level link. Every link within that is a deeper link, deeper link, deeper link, because what Google sees is those deeper links have greater meaning than just the superficial one that you use all the SEO rules on. Okay? So a comment is a deeper link. It alerts search engines that something's going on over there. New content, new activity. That's the other thing, is that search engines like new content. And that's the advantage of a blog. Website, you don't change it. How hard did you work on that website, right? You don't want to change it all every day. Absolutely, you change the blog. 